Hey guys, it's Firefly Kiri, and normally this game is recorded, but I am actually going to LP this live stream right now, and I'm not alone. I've got V Sing Hubba. Hero, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Becca. Hi. Uh, the, the thing that we call Marty. Bye. Buddy left your channel. He's gone. Uh, we got the thing called, uh, Woot. Buddy joined your channel. Yeah, I'm this thing. And, uh, we got the thing called our Asian. Hello, hello. So, hello. I need to, ch I'm changing the stream to, we're playing The Walking Dead. And, if you don't know, we, uh, I, I'm gonna try to start streaming more often, so... Twitch channel is in the description below. And to everyone that is in the stream right now, make sure you all hit that like button. But now, I'm going to episode status. We are... Uh, play... Episode 2. Uh... continue we are on starved for help is where we're at right now on the uh in the game and we're actually heading to the dairy farm here it is st john family dairy st john's dairy fairy y'all can see how we kept this place so safe the fence keeps them out you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence hmm. all the juice. Alright. So, as y'all can see, this we're at this this farm, and these people this are, if I remember make. correctly, they're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Kind of like V-Sync. I said that these people are kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, kind of like you. I don't, know, I don't know what those are. Oh, he's pleading innocent. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> we all work together. He's mm -hmm. pleading innocent. He's got Look plenty bad. of people with military <laughs> experience. Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. That sounds like racist now things. That are here, Pretty much it is, but safe and comfortable. with a bird instead of black people. Oh, we have a bunch of this country to the that rest of us. We're starved. It's even more racist. These are for y'all. Big fresh this morning. Holy moly! <laughs> Sorry. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully, Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she. We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? I don't well, like this. Get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'd be nice to have some folks. I, 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 I feel very uncomfortable Daddy, with this group. Th th these me. three people. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with yeah, you. Yeah, they're a bunch of country ass niggas. Hey, 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 no hey! Ben can come with me. Hey, wow, the this. shots. All right, see you later. <clears throat> don't make me hurt you. Hey, I mean, you're a country ass nigga too, but you, you ain't bad shit crazy like around. them. Once you get settled in, Let's I be can use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? I mean, you're still bad shit crazy just like them. They get tangled up in the fence before they fry and be end honest. up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk That's the perimeter. True. You can learn a little something about our fence. 
I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This All right. place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Mm. Mm. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. All right. So now we get to take control over Lee, and we're going to go see what we can figure out. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. When was the last time it got any use? Mm, been quite a while. and don't exactly have a lot of kids visiting anymore. I look forward to the day when kids can just be kids again. Amen to that. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Alright, so in other words, what they're telling us is we gotta find a fucking board and a fucking rope. That's gonna be fun. Hmm. Pointy. Hmm. Pointy. This is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size... This might make a good seat for the swing. Get the saw. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Where did he put that? That's my question. Is like he just looked like he put it in the back in his back pocket, but that was a board, not a. I, yeah, it's yep. such a troll. Can't take any chances when it comes to safety. To shove things somewhere, like where'd it go? Well, if it was V, if you know, since let's let's make Lee V Sing. Lee uh, V Sing's a big black guy. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> mean. I mean, come on. You know you want to be a big black guy, and he just shoved a board up his ass. Wait for dinner. What kind of black or guy? Or cold. Big tough black guy? Or yeah. Rastafarian bumbleclot kind of guy? Big tough guy. Oh, man, I'm fine with that. <laughs> well, go on, start. Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. When will dinner be ready? It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my safe. Since friends. you know. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> what happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was a tough night. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Oh, uh, uh, just curious, I guess. Let's not start thinking too far ahead now. Let's 
Let's just focus on getting y'all a good home-cooked meal tonight. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Hmm. I don't trust that red-headed woman. Of course, then again, uh, my mom's a redhead, so I don't, I don't trust me redheads. Hey, rope. This rope is perfect for the swing. All right, so we are going to go fix the, the stupid swing now. Because I feel like we got to fix the swing before we can freaking go kill things. And I want to kill at things. At least you're like doing killing time, right? All right. The story, I assume. This shouldn't be too tough. Yeah. Well, I'll be damned. Well, I'll Mama's be gonna damned. be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it, too. Did you say something, darling? Oh, my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Yeah, we made people happy. Oh, by the way, I'm carrying an axe. Axe squad. Oh, goodness. What's wrong? Don't kill too many so people. Found out? Is this looking like mm. a good place to stay? The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. All right. I guess now we gotta talk to. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Uh, uh, nothing. Just giving yourself the tour, huh? Mind if I take a look? Sure, but uh, why don't we do that after we tend to the perimeter? Sounds good. All right, I guess we gotta tend to the perimeter. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch these sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, sir. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. I Why do I have a bad feeling about this? I mean, I, I got a real bad feeling about this crap. And remember, if you all want to donate to help Hubba, How's the place looking? make sure you all hit exclamation yeah. point donate it's into the chat. Night, Oh, night, Hubba. Good night. Hubba, no. I can't wait You're welcome, Hubba. Here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. Hmm. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Ugh. 
Barbecued Wait, walker. Dead. Come on, let's push yeah. it off. Off you go, buddy. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied mm. down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Alright, let's get this thing off. Get off. Well, fuck. Looks like we gotta chop the hands off. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Nope. Stinky Christ. walkers. Can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Uh oh. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Time to lift. There we go. Fuck. What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh shit! What the? Get to the gate. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! Holy shit! No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out. We had an agreement. Now oh, shit. What do we do? Come on. Move that out of the way. All right. Now we can go. Eh. What the fuck? Why ain't that going? Oh shit! Get down. Hi Zach. Hi Zach. You're playing Rocket League? No, I'm uh, I'm uh, currently playing The Walking Dead to go up on my channel. Come on, if we can reach uh. the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! <laughs> oh sh. I'm scared. People are shooting arrows at us. I don't like this. We're using a tractor to to hide behind. Ah, oh, fuck! What happened? Shit! It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. have to move. No. Ah, shit! No, get down, you dumbass! That's all I'm saying. Uh -huh. No, don't kill us. We didn't do nothing to you niggas. It was the other people. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? No, thank you. <gasps> oh shit, this is so alive! Go away! Go away! Yeah. 
Damn. 